right? Right. So that that's that's where I'm going to leave it. But for those who think that equity or chancery, you know, is is like we we've heard all sorts of madness, right? All sorts of madness. And I've even heard people mention that chancery is a filing cabinet, right? And that is just uh -huh. ridiculous, right? Like I just explained earlier, the administrative process process of equity is present in the CPR rules, right? You've got to know the tools, how to evoke it, right? And that's the... You've got to be able to convene that court. You've got to convene it from the at-law side, which they're bringing in. And if you're using trust, right... If you've used a trust in a situation, right, then you want to move it and challenge and, and make them see that through the legal system before you take it into the to, to, in, into equity, mm. right? Because it's all valid. It's a private trust, so it's private and confidential, right? That's why you can't be seen in legal, <laughs> right? You're just using the tool, but you're not exposing the private trust, right? They know the power of the private trust. You need to get it into equity, Just, right? Yeah. For it, for it to for it to have weight. But up until then, you you don't expose it in legal. You're using the tools for them to recognise. And once they've recognised it, then you move it into into equity jurisdiction, right? And believe me, it's got power, right? It it really has opened my eyes. I mean, I mean. I've like invested a few hundred pound in, in some of these books, right? I'm just fascinated by it, <laughs> right? <laughs> and and one. and to be honest, you will need these what? If, if 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 you want to <laughs> get to the level where you want to go into court, right? Weapon. And when they and when these judges do these assumptions and presumptions with you, <clears> right? <throat> You, you can shut them up because there it is in black and white. It's a book of authority which they recognise. And once you read it out there in the manner and the fashion that you're going to deliver it, <laughs> there, there, there's no dispute in it, right? So, again, it's about the correct information, right? This is why I keep harping on about it, harping on about it, right? You will thank all that for when, when you get to challenge a case. And my advice to you is to everybody, right, is don't be, don't take on a case, right, until you're 100% confident that you can stand under it all and know that what you've learned, you can fully regurgitate at any given point, right, because that is what you're going to be tested on, assumptions and presumptions in court, right, and the, 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 the name of the game is, is to restrict the judge's discretion, Right, there's a lot more tricks. This is <laughs> this, this is just giving you snippets of what what you, you this is what you're going to get involved in, right? And I'll probably just finish it off with here with with the mac you know maxims. It's out of um, a book, um, a treatness, uh, what's it? Treat uh, treat size on suits in chancery, uh, by Richard Henry Gibson. Yeah, I'll just put it up for the camera. If anybody is interested. So you don't even have to show them that. That's a weapon and a half there. Right. <laughs> I mean, the, this is a reprint that I've managed to get hold of because it's very, very hard to get the originals, right? Um, through, through, you know, a bit of painstaking searching. It's all there. You can find it if you know what you're looking for, right? And it's got here, Maxim generally considered... There are certain great underlining principles, often called maxims, which are the fruitful sources of vast number of particular rules concerning both rights and remedies. These principles are a component part of equity jurisprudence. They lie in the foundation of universal justice, are the sources of municipal law, and have worthily and aptly called legis legium. Right? The legis legion meaning the law of laws, right? You have been worthy. These maxims are, in the strictest sense, the principia, right? And principia, proband, non probanta, maxims are proof and they need no proving. 
<laughs> it's there in black and white. That's all I say. So we're not saying you need to go to court and it's like you, that's the, the proven route either. So the other common question is like, um, do we need to go to court? Can this be done in court? No is the answer. You can do it in private with uh, notices. So we are not telling you anything. We are simply highlighting a new area of research of which we have found interesting and can see the light at the end of the tunnel and understand why it's been suppressed hidden, not talked about, um, merged in with CPR, uh, misconstrued upon us and um, as I was saying earlier using the three letter process, conditional acceptance, looking to go to create no contract and uh, ending up with permanent irre irrevocable uh, stopple usually created by the, the claimant's acquiescence due to the facts that we would quote and reference and enforce and uh, draw upon. So. Yes, I mean this is just another. This yeah. is just another option yeah, exactly. whereby we were we only had one, yeah, and that was either well <laughs> the, the the legal la la land as I call it, yeah, the legal right. system, yeah, the legal or, system, or lawful rebellion, right. lawful rebellion, that yeah, was where or, we was or at. yeah, there's, there's basically two options before this came along for me, right? Was number one was the legal realm, or you would just play games in in cementing your dishonor by. Uh, um, you know, return for sender and all that other nonsense that's going no on. No contract, right? no consent. Right. Yeah. Instead of understanding and learning, right, to beat them at their own game, that's not what we've achieved. Well, I don't think many, there's very, 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 very few who have done that, right? So what we're saying is that you have now got an, a, another avenue, right? You've got equity and you've got common law, right? You've got two options. Right, and through the education that you're going to go through, you're going to mm. pick and choose which ones you're going to need, which which ones you're going to utilize, and know the clear, definitive difference between the two. Contracts, right. agreements, relationships, trusts. That's what we need to start looking at. That's where we've been going wrong. We looked at something and thought, oh, it's a contract. It needs, uh, you know, it's tacit, it's tort, it's addition. Uh, PCNs and uh, charges like this, these are small fry. We should have had these done, licked and mastered, and have templates ready to go. And we're still umming and ahhing and, and having ins and outs. So we're testing a few uh, of the minute, but yeah. you know, these, these these kind of stuff takes time. And and I know that we've been, you know, making some bold statements in in the comments and stuff, and we've been challenging openly to other people in terms of bringing us proof of of your remedies, and we've not supplied any. Right, but, yeah, I'm well, still learning. I yeah, but what you got to remember is just we're, we're just starting this all off. What? Right, <laughs> we're just starting all this off. Right, so you know, you know, in a few months' time, when we all get to speed, we, we will have that evidence for you. Right, but up until then, um, there was one member who asked me personally in a comment that what what kind of success have I had, and I I said, oh, we've got to meet and greet, and I'll I'll, I'll show you a win that I had. Uh, in the oh, case yeah. of a few years ago, oh, yeah. right? I'll bring that to show, but don't get it confused into this new tech that we're doing. That stuff that I, you know, I did doing the free man on the root land, uh, you know, just doing administrative processes and etc. But um, you see, everybody can learn stuff, right? But you know, to take it to the next level, there's only there's not, there's only a selected few who who got that capability of understanding, right? Um, through the misinformation that is, right? So, I mean, I tried my damn hardest to understand and fully know what I was getting involved in when I learned all this stuff at the beginning, and that's where I had that win. But I I still honestly, I mean, I can sort of see it now, right? That what what I've learned now. Uh, I strongly know there's, there's there's a couple of parts in the process that I did. That's the reason why it, it, you know it succeeded. But the rest of it, I can honestly say, it was just you know it, it was wasn't even relevant. But just to the basis I've done, you know the 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 couple of things that I mentioned that cemented my success and you know um, and I won was I, I was able to recognise that right through what. I believe in now is is the true technology that we all should know, right? And that that's where I'm going. You can see everything then. Once you I, honestly, I, I can't reiterate it, it you <laughs> know, even more. When you know about when you when you learn the, the the true nature, what trusts are, and everything, and then 
you start seeing it everywhere. You start recognising it everywhere, right? And you, you, you can't recognise that unless you've got the tools to, right? So, I will definitely bring that win, right? Because I'm a man of my word and whatever I say, I, I will deliver, right? So, I'll just make it you know that it's not done under trust or any of the, the stuff that we're learning at the minute. It's, it's just some old stuff, basically. But it, it should give... It, it's, well, coming to think of it now, the only reason why I think majorly why I won in that situation is because of how confident I was. And not only That's did... Key, yeah. Not only did I not... I mean, I, I basically... It was a case that I had with the MIB, which is the Motor Insurance Bureau, right? For those who know who, who they are, right? I'm not going into the ins and outs of it, right? Basically, they had a CCJ and I, and I committed to payments until I woke up. Challenge EMIB simultaneously against the solicitor as well, both of them at the same time, right? And then whereby when the solicitor had enough, they backed off and passed the account back to the MIB. Then they tried to get a court processor involved to serve me papers, to get me back into court, to get me, in, you know, to repay this, you know, CCJ. But I knew, because what I knew what I'd done and the way I'd, you know, I, you know, I delivered it and, and the questions that I asked them, they, 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 they wouldn't be able to stand on it. Right, and so it's, it's it's my confidence that took me this far. So when, when when they got the court processor and trying to get me back into court, right, I just served notice on the court processor as well because I stopped <laughs> I stopped the whole thing with the solicitor and the MIB, <clears throat> and at that point, I'm saying to them, well, you, well, give me the proof what I've asked. I'm not refusing to pay. I'll happily pay you, and I've been doing it. I've been doing it for a year. I've been paying it for a year, but I'll, I've got some questions you need to answer. So can you kindly answer me these? And then when you see it like that, you, you start to see them run, right? You start to see all the excuses, right? Mm. And some of these excuses, right, some people have took for fear, and this is why you've lost. Because you, 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 you've not fully took it all mm. the way. He right, and if I was in that, if I if I'd fell prey for the same scary letters that I had from the solicitor, I wouldn't even got that far. So that's all I say. The risk takers are the winners. <laughs> yeah, sensible risk takers don't just take silly risks. But what is yeah. that? Let he who be deceived who will be deceived. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ignorance of the law excuses no one. Remember, and we'll leave it at that. It's How been an hour mark now. I know. How many? <laughs> One thousand what? Six hundred and twenty-seven. Yeah. We're gonna do some quick uh, questions and answers and finish or leave it. I think we've covered everything, don't you think? Yeah. All right, then we'll leave it. Leave some comments on the video. Um, I'll put it. It'll go to the Indigo Child yeah. channel. Um, video number one, yes. Yeah, first video Epic. ever, and we'll see you for those uh, oh. on the meet and greet on the second of September. There you go. Yeah. Um, this will go on the YouTube channel. Put your comments on there. We will um, be in Birmingham on the second. Uh, two guest hosts in Trust and Equity. And um, the guy from uh, Vice Media will be there to discuss uh, options about documentaries, media, uh, coverage, exploration of other such things and uh, history of the sovereign movement. Um, he did say sovereign citizen, but we've got lots to discuss. There will be non-disclosures signed. Um, interactive room downstairs and um, trust and equity upstairs it will be getting filmed and streamed um, yeah so we're looking forward to it there's a lot happening um, peace and love from uh, from me and him yeah <laughs> see you there B square yeah man <laughs> peace and love guys see you later respect <laughs>